Hi, it's Miss Nikki Ann. Um, just felt like doing an Easter Sunday update. Yeah. Um, the sunrise service time. I don't know how many of you know what that is. <laughs> but, um, some churches do Easter service at 6 a.m. Or something like that. Which I've done all my life. So, lucky me, I sent the seven-year-old out with his grandmother. But it's been a, um, it's been an exciting Lenten season. Well, now we're in Easter, but, um, so I gave up this year. I put a lot of thought into it. <laughs> and gave up spending for the week prior to Easter. So, um, and believe it or not, um, not that I have any money, but you will, it's, you can easily forget how much you do have <laughs> when you're not spending any of it. And, um, so that was fun. So every time I went to do something, I could say to my mom, can't do that can't spend any money. <laughs> I probably got more this week, this past week, than I had gotten, I don't know, since I've gotten my disability money. <laughs> Mom just kept buying stuff <laughs> breakfast. And, and so, um, but it's, a, it's about humbling yourself. And it's a great reminder for me um, whom I just got her disability money not long ago, a few months, um, that it wasn't, it's not the disability money that sustains me. Um, it's God, family, friends, Mother Earth, life, you know, and there's no dollar sign on that end the realization that I loved when I was going through that three years of zero dollars trying to get my disability um, that all your needs are met you know your wants are a whole nother thing but generally if you look around and I mean I can say this of the poorest the materially materially poorest of people that your needs are met and that's not for all poor people but I'm saying you know I fit let's put it that way I fit the poverty line and still when I humble myself to what life is trying to get me to do you know I'm a grown woman and I'm living at home with my parents <laughs> so I have to humble myself to that and um so just thankful and then sir and I that's my soon to be eight year old he'll be eight in May um we did a sugar fast that was he was a part of the spending fast so he got to spend nothing and you know he felt like you know his world. <laughs> at the end he got it though so we're not spending no we're not spending can't have that no he can't have that you know um he did a sugar fast for Good Friday and Holy Saturday and that was fun and then <laughs> that was fun and because he has a sweet tooth and so do I we have like a problem I know it's a problem okay and so it just help us to recenter and refocus and say okay you can have sugar but you gotta really find a medium in life you just can't you know and we also went to see um Jesus on the cross um, literally at a cemetery nearby that we go to all, all the time anyhow and so each time we would go for the week I would um, say something and talk about based on history we're on that given day before you know Good Friday and you know Monday Thursday M-A-U-N-D-Y if you're not from a you know Christian background um, I would talk about what was probably happening um, to Jesus in those 
living during his time you know okay so now it's good friday this was happening you know so we put jesus on the cross we nailed him and it's down now because today's easter so i made sure that it did not see easter sunday so you know i've got my you know palms from palm sunday and everything but we made a cross separate from the palm sunday um crosses and then we made a jesus with the you know the crown thorn crown and all this stuff and nailed him and um it i mean it, it, it's a, we made like a there was red there's symbolism of blood and so um yeah just trying to get in the mindset of you're standing in front of human beings who are judging you and you've done nothing wrong but they let go someone who is a known criminal and say no to your freedom and I thought about something that Muji um, this guy who I listen to M-O-O-J-I um, he he says you know no one wants you to be free no one wants your freedom because that would mean that everything they depend on you for would be gone from their lives so it's kind of a selfish thing you know and um yeah no one wanted him to be free there were a, a select few and even you know your wife prompting you I had a dream about this you know that man I really believe is the son of God and who isn't who isn't and I look at all the justifications for the current wars I don't care what your background is you know we have a way of justifying you know the killings by saying that God said and then we all have a basic understanding that if we all did kind of adhere to the Ten Commandments we wouldn't have the problems we have um, the idea that we don't have to coexist and I don't know if humankind will ever get beyond that uh, not for me to say but um, I've got all sorts of people in my life Jehovah's Witnesses you know Jews and Gentiles <laughs> Catholics Protestants you know Muslims and we're so off base sometimes how you know you can take the Bible and use it to enslave a group of chocolate people in Africa you know uh, you can use any word that we say is a word from God or a, a book of wisdom and use it to enslave people instead of setting them free and so I agree with agree with Muji nobody wants you to be free you have to want that for yourself and even recently I did watch that Beyonce documentary and that is what resonated with me and I w it felt it made me feel good that this woman who is now a mom um, gets that especially you know because we as women only people who want us to be free is a very few select and some women don't want women to be free not some a lot a lot are a lot perceive our existence like a like a man perceives our existence poppycock anyhow but I don't know it's been a good week and now it's almost 6 a.m. so service will be starting and so if you observe the um, Christian holidays um, just want to say happy Easter and I hope it the season for you brings all the joys that it was difficult to find during the Lenten season. And I think that's it. Um, yeah. Reflection, forgiveness, and then going forward and trying your hardest not to commit the same sins, transgressions so forth and so on and we will do a whole lot of crazy stuff but hopefully we get wiser who knows basils and god be with you